Hey, this is Russ Letterman from Denkmeyer Optical. I wanted to show you something really new. It's a great combination system. And what we're doing is we're viewing the sun in hydrogen alpha so we can see amazing prominences, surface detail, and also the chromosphere. And we're using the quirk from Daystar. It's what they call their chromosphere model. But I've got to tell you, you see prominences in great detail, nice surface detail, and also the chromosphere all the way around the sun. It's really a pretty amazing system. And we've got a Binotron 27 with our brand new 32 millimeter plossels. And our power switch on the Binotron can manipulate the magnification factor. So let me explain a few things. First, We've got, coming out of our two-inch diagonal, the Quirk Chromosphere model from Daystar. We just load it into the two-inch eyepiece holder. Now, why is this plug here? Well, this plug is running down to a, an, an inverter, which is converting 12 volts into 110. Simple system, very inexpensive. And I've got overkill on that battery. Trust me on that. This thing will run the mount for my Optron and the Quirk for days and days without recharging. But anyway, we've got 110 going to the Quirk. What this is doing is it's heating up the Edelon. And you can see that this light here is now green. That means it's ready to go. In, in normal weather, it's taken me about three to four minutes for this to, from, to go from orange to green. So, again, green, we're ready to go. There's great detail happening right now. I can't really put the camera up and show you, but I will show you some comments from, from customers. I just got back from Chiefland uh, Star Party down in Chiefland, Florida, and I let some people view through this setup, and uh, they really liked it. So you can hear their comments and see what they say while they're looking for it. But in any case, this is how it works. We've got the quirk, it's plugged in right here. We've got a one and a quarter inch eyepiece holder coming out of the quirk. The quirk has a 4X telecentric Barlow that moves the focal plane right through the volume of viewer. You don't need any OCS. OCS stands for Optical Corrector System Optical Cell. The system consists of the cell and the power switch. In essence, the 4X telecentric is taking care of the need for the OCS. So a system that you buy for the Quirk would consist of a Binotron 27, a pair of 32 millimeter eyepieces, and a, du a dual arm power switch, which gives you three magnification factors. Now, when you push in, it reduces the magnification of that 4X telecentric so that you can see the whole sun, the whole solar disk, no problem, good amount of black space around it, and lots of detail uh, in the prominences and the surface. When you pull this low power arm out, and this is my demo system, yeah, I got a little broken power switch on there, but that's fine. Um, when, you, when you move this out, you're only using the 4X telecentric Barlow to move the focus to the eyepieces and you get a nice high power detailed view. The beauty is with the 32 fossils, it's not too high of a power. The detail is fantastic, especially in the morning hours towards early afternoon and then a little later, four o'clock in the afternoon till sunset, you get very steady conditions. The thermal currents coming off the ground have calmed down. Right now it's high noon or a little past, so it's quite hot out here and there's lots of thermal currents. But we will um, have a really nice package system for the Quirk, and the Daystar people will talk to you about the system all together, and we can talk to you also. So call Jen or Tiffany at Daystar, and um, call me and Russ, call me at Dagmire Optical, and I'll be happy to talk to you. Check our new website. I'm building it. It's almost finished. It's very early November. I should have it done this coming week. It's a brand new website, and you'll see details on this combination system and pricing. Okay, so thanks for listening. Sorry if there was interim noise. I'm doing a selfie here. But anyway, here you go. Great system.